that Occam's razor must be uncaused. We would argue that therefore it must be eternal. We would argue that it's immaterial and transcendent because it created the material world. So from these perspectives, it's in line with the monotheistic view of uh, I don't see that as a problem. I see that as a huge problem. Why? Because what you've got is an anthropomorphic patriarchal God. No, we haven't oh, yes, said anything about anthropomorphism. Oh, yes, you have. That's a Christian narrative. This is the Islamic narrative too. No, in the Quran, you're all, you're in the Quran it says Laysa kimithli shay, which means God is transcendent. There is nothing. I see that as a huge problem. Why? Because what you've got is an anthropomorphic patriarchal God. No, no we oh, haven't yes, said anything about anthropomorphism. Oh, yes, you have. That's a Christian narrative. This is the Islamic narrative too. No, in the Quran, you're all, you're in the Quran it says Laysa kimithli shay, which means God is transcendent. There is nothing like unto Him. And when we even we say. Because you need the empirical evidence in order to confirm your interpretations of the world. That what we do in science is that you make preliminary hypotheses, which are, of course are conceptual, sure. but then you rely on the fact that you have, have to generate empirical evidence about the world around you in order to... بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد on the fact that you have, have to generate empirical evidence about the world around you in order to test them. Because what you've got is an anthropomorphic patriarchal God. No, no we haven't oh, yes, said anything about anthropomorphism. Oh, yes, you have. That's a Christian narrative. This is the Islamic narrative too. No, in the Quran, you're all, you're in the Quran it says, Laysa kimithli shay, which means God is transcendent. There is nothing like unto him. And when we even... We